What's up everybody, it's Zach from Switch Wars and we have a real fancy pair of Joy-Con for you today. This is the first ever custom Joy-Con that I or anyone else at Switch Wars have gotten their hands on, so I wanted to share them with you. They are branded for my other YouTube channel, Ghost Robo, but they're so dang cool and I wanted to show you what a custom set of Joy-Con looks like, how it works, how the system registers them, and just see what you think. Because I think custom Joy-Con is a huge market and one that could be really, really awesome, especially as Nintendo slowly doles out the colors we got neon yellow coming with arms. Hopefully something for Splatoon or Mario Odyssey. But if you don't want to wait, you don't want to do neon, Custom Joy-Con is the way to get the Switch looking exactly how you want it, personalized for your very own personality. Okay, so the moment of truth, we're going to open them up, see what they're like, make sure they work, see how the Switch recognizes them, and find out what kind of fun we can have with custom Joy-Con. Now, these were made by a guy named Undead Gaming UK. He does great work on all sorts of controllers. If you want to check them out, there's links in the description below. Let's check out what we got. I forgot to tell you, there's also a custom charging grip, which I think I'm going to open first. We'll save the best for last. So far, you can only get uh, the grip in either a gray with the console or a clear with the charging grip, although there are third-party uh, grips that are red and black, but this one right here is Glacier White. It takes me back to the Game Boy Advance era when we had that super cool Glacier White GBA. I'll show it to you up close there. Looking so nice and fresh and white. I really, really like the look of that. And it's a great paint job too. The Nintendo logo is still there. All the metal is exposed as it should be, and it feels real nice and smooth. A great paint job, great work. Really like that. Now let's find out what we're going to be slotting in here. We could take these off. And let's do that right now, since we are going to be taking off the uh, the OG Joy-Con to put on the custom. Let's see what these guys look on a white grip. Ooh, that's freaking fancy. I like that. Neon blue and white. Look at that. I feel like I'm going to some sort of awesome water park and about to sit down on some blueberry slushy. Look at that. Summertime slushy. Or winter, I guess? I guess it could be kind of like an icy, an icy winter look. Very, very nice. I feel like Jake is gonna be obsessed with this look. That is so cool. Okay, so there's that. That's very fancy and nice. Uh, let's see what the Joy-Con actually looks like. Open these up. Uh, first up, we have the Snap-on Extra Grips, uh, which are vital for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, let me add, uh, if you're gonna be playing with horizontal Joy-Con. Um, but those are the original colors. Now, I know that the Joy-Con themselves are really difficult to disassemble, and that has limited some of the uh, output so far of custom controllers and custom colors. So let's see how it worked for these, ooh baby. All right, so this one, again, like I said, it's themed like uh, the Ghost Robo uh, channel art. So this one is going to be a deep blue, a nice blue, but what's really cool is there's custom button work and a custom uh, logo on the bottom there. So let's get you in here for an up close and personal uh, introduction. GR on the bottom for Ghost Robo, like I mentioned, it's got three white buttons, one orange button, and then a white minus, a white capture, and a uh, lovely still same colored stick. The inside buttons, I'm um, assuming, are pretty darn tricky to paint. And it's just a real nice paint job all the way around. It feels a little bit more textured than the normal Joy-Con just because it does have extra layers of paint, of course, on these as opposed to just like the, the factory finish of the originals. But when we snap it on, it shouldn't be any issue and it should uh, play and work just fine. There we go. Ta-da! Looking good. I think it's going to recognize these guys as the Joy-Con that they are, which is gray because obviously it can't sense what color they are. But that's okay. So we'll recognize them as the color. The good news is that it's working. That's all we care about. And the other Joy-Con, let's not forget, is a freaking old oh, baby. I think I'm going to like this one and you guys are going to like this one even more. A bright orange Joy-Con, but it's not neon. It's like a deep true orange. A very Halloween-y orange, if you will. There is that orange bad boy looking all sorts of pumpkin-like. And it's a real good paint job again. Orange all over. It's got the blue button to match the other Joy-Con. The white plus the white home, the three other white buttons, and then the OG stick in the middle with the SLSR retaining it there original form as well. This one is looking so freaking fancy. And I like how in a way this deep blue and this deep orange are kind of a riff on the the neon blue and the neon red a little bit, but they're definitely different enough. And look how nice that looks. That looks freaking cool. I like that a lot. Let's get up close and personal with the switch. You're gonna get a little screen glare here and I do apologize for that. Uh, but we can show you how a custom set looks and I think these are quite the looker. I really like them a lot. Obviously, it makes you know a whole lot of sense for my other channel, um, but you could get these done up in any color, and I feel like this is going to start a very nasty 
uh, obsession for me of custom Joy-Con because that looks super freaking cool. I like that a lot. Let us know in the comments down below what you think of these custom Joy-Con, what kind of customs you want. Obviously, we've heard of and seen mock-ups of character-based ones, game-based ones, old Nintendo console-based ones like the SNES, the GameCube, I think, would be fantastic. Um, but even for Grip, Grip looked good in new colors. I like that a lot. This Grip, even with the uh, the original neon blue Joy-Con, looked very fancy. Now, we're going to swap them back, and let's real quick put the other uh, Joy-Con on the white Grip just to see the full look that Undead Gaming has designed for us here. Um, I, for one, am very impressed. I think it looks fantastic, and I can't wait to see what other kinds of customs people come up with. And I'm currently uh, searching for some system ones, because I, I like the idea of making it feel like a retro Nintendo console. So we'll see if we're able to work any magic there. I think that would be super freaking cool. And uh, I definitely like the neon yellow that Nintendo is making, but the fact that you can go out there and have talented people customize these just blows my mind. There's that, the grip with the set, the white, orange, and blue is like a real nice color scheme. Even from the back, it looks like a perfect, perfect palette. I like that a lot. Boom, baby, there it is. The first ever custom Joy-Con we have experienced, and hopefully not the last. Let us know what you think of the custom Joy-Con in the comments down below. I definitely really, really like these. If you want to see the rest of the work that Undead Gaming UK does, the links are down in the description below. You can even get your own pair of Joy-Con if that's something you're into. But for now, these are the custom Joy-Con we have in-house. I really like them. I'm going to put them back on the Switch and go win some more races in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in style now with these new sweet Joy-Con. I just love the look of Joy-Con. It's one of my favorite controllers of all time. Um, not just because of the Switch, but I think they're just really cute and they have a nice homage back to the old NES era with the fact that you can use them sideways. And it's a, it's a Definitely a, a big plus for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, although I'm going to say you're going to want to have uh, these extra extra little button buffers on there because that's going to help so much with drifting and item throwing. I tried doing it without these last night and my fingers were cramping and I got small hands. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Custom Joy-Con are definitely a very cool thing and hopefully we'll have more in the future to share with you guys. Until that time, everybody, let us know what you think of it in the comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you had fun today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from the Switch and Switch Force and any other Joy-Con color combos we come across. Hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to see them. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Switch Force.